On Saturday, September 23rd, an estimated 600 people converged on the corner of Route 100 and Andover Road in Weston to celebrate the opening of a new theater space. The Center of the Arts at Walker Farm is a modern black box theater located just up the road from the Weston Playhouse. The idea for converting the site of the family's dairy barn into a theater was first conceived almost 20 years ago by Jen Spain, the great granddaughter of Kenneth and Anna Walker. The Walkers helped establish the Weston Theater in 1935. Fundraising for the new theater began 10 years ago and continues today. Over $11 million has been raised, of which over $6 million went into construction. The day started at noon with a presentation for donors to the fundraising campaign. Others arrived at 2 to hear speeches leading to the ribbon cutting. We have Mal and Tim and Steve and Leslie will hold the ribbon and now Photographers, be there to preserve the moment. One, two, three. Oliver Olson is a local state representative and future board chair of the Weston Playhouse Theater Company. Thank you all so much for coming out on such a beautiful day for such a special occasion. Thank you. Our, our two past uh, chairs, Tony Wood and, and uh, Wayne Granquist, for their vision and their leadership to get us here today. So, but I'd like to, I'd like to actually um, give you a few numbers. 566. Anybody want to take a guess what that is? Population. Thank you. That is the official U.S. Census population of the town of Weston. I'm going to give you a second number. 21,549. That's how many tickets were sold this summer. Wow. 21,549. For those of you doing the math, that's roughly 38 tickets for every man, woman, and child wow. here in Weston. <laughs> Needless to say, I, I don't think every man, woman, and child has uh, been to 38 performances at the Weston Playhouse. Certainly a few, but not 38. And, and that really speaks to the importance and the value that this organization and this facility, this new facility behind us here today, bring to the community and to the regional economy at large. This theater company and the artists who make this such a magical place are what bring people and attract people of all kinds to this beautiful place. Leslie Koning came in as managing director in 2013. This was literally the most amazing 15 months of my career. About 15 months ago, we started negotiating with Bread Loaf, and we've been building for exactly 13 months. My pleasure to introduce our producing artistic director, whom you all know, but hey, Steve Stetler, my best friend. I stand here representing the three guys, Malcolm Ewan, Tim Fort, and Steve Stetler, who were honored when we were asked in 1988 to pick up the torch and become the third reign of terror for the oldest theater in Vermont. This, the mission statement Steve the Settler theater. came up with a new mission members. statement. And it is quality, community, and cows. <laughs> Think about it, though. You know, when Mal and I took over, we said, we want a theater where people like us who've gone on and had careers in the theater can actually come back and use their real names and get paid to do their day jobs to bring this community the level of theater that it so richly deserves. Quality. Community. We like doing theater better in Weston than anywhere else, not just because we had one gorgeous theater down the road and now another one here but because we do it for you, for the most amazingly welcoming, supportive community that has ever helped a theater. The 2,700 square foot building includes this theater space. 
The state-of-the-art LED and conventional lighting will be controlled by the newest control panel on the market. Audio equipment will be installed this week. The floor rests on springs. Risers can be configured to accommodate 44 to 150 chairs. Five sets of performances took place Saturday afternoon. Veteran actors Barbara Lloyd and Munson Hicks kicked things off. We met at night. We met at eight. I was on time. No, you were late. Ah, yes. I remember. Performances start October 1st. For GNAT News, this is Bruce Frauman.